Revelation Software. Hi, this is Mike Ruane of Revelation Software, and today we'd like to talk about Open Insight's D3 connector. As of Open Insight version 9.2, Open Insight can talk natively to Tiger Logic's D3 data store. There are a couple of prerequisites to follow, but once they've been filled, you can easily make graphical or browser-based applications that will talk against the D3 data. Uh, so the prerequisites are fairly simple. First off, we need to use Tiger Logic's D3 version 9.0 or higher. Uh, version 9.0 contains some connectivity tools that Open Insight makes use of. Specifically, we have to make sure that we have the Tiger MVSP.dll available to us, and that we have an authorized MVSP account and user. This is simple to do, and we'll go through that configuration in just a few seconds. Finally, you're going to need Open Insight version 9.2 or higher, and with those two pieces, you'll be able to connect to the D3 data stores. Let's take a look at the D3 configuration settings. Before I actually connect to the D3 server, I'm going to use this Telnet session to check out its configuration to make sure that I can connect to it easily from Open Insight. So I'm going to log in as my DM user, and I'm going to use the same master dictionary of DM. Uh, and what I need to do is to log into the MVSP application and make sure that the ports are configured correctly, that my accounts are enabled, and that the users are enabled. So I will log to MVSP, and then I will run a program called MVSP.menu. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose number 4 and check out my server maintenance. So I'll press 4 and then enter. And the first thing I'm going to look at is my configuration maintenance. So I'll go to number 1, I'll press enter. I'll choose number 1 again to check out the socket and press enter. And right now I'm choosing port number 9000 and I'm happy with that. And I do want to auto boot the server. I'm happy with that. So I'll press any key to continue. And I'll press Q to quit. Uh, and now we'll look at our account maintenance, number 2. Open Insight, when it connects to MVSP, needs to use an account and a username. So I need to make sure that both the account that I'm going to use and the user that I'm going to use to connect to the D3 server are enabled for MVSP. So I'll press number one here to list all of the enabled accounts. And I see that I have MVDemo, MVSP, and DM. If I wanted one, if I wanted to use an account that wasn't enabled, I would just use number two and uh, obviously enable that account. I'll press Q to quit. And then I'll choose user maintenance, number three. And the same thing, I can either list the enabled users, enable a user, or disable a user. I'll go for number one to list the enabled users, and I see that the DM user is already enabled, and I think that's what I'll be using in this example. So I'll press any key to continue, I'll quit from here, I'll quit from here. I'm pretty happy with the configuration now, so let's go over to the Open Insight side. Okay, so here on the Open Insight side, I have my Application Manager open, and I'm going to go to Application Tools and Database Manager. And from within the Database Manager, I'm going to choose Utilities, Other MV Tables, and the D3 Connection Wizard. And what this will do, once I pull it back into the middle of the screen, is that this will walk me through creating the connection to the D3 server. So the first thing I have to do is give it a name. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to call it Tutorial. And I'll click on the Next button. The next thing that I'm prompted for is the location of the shadow dictionaries. Now the D3 dictionaries have probably been made for a very long time. They're set up very precisely and the developers would not want us to mess with them. So what Open Insight is going to do is we're going to create a local copy, local to Open Insight, not to the PC, uh, a local copy of the dictionaries so that we can use some of Open Insight's features on our own dictionaries. So it's offering me a default of tutorial shadow. I'll accept that and I will click on next. Uh, next, we were prompted for the IP address of the D3 server. Because I'm testing on a local copy of D3, I'm going to use the local loopback address of 127.0.0.1. I'm pretty happy with that. I will click on the Next button. And now I'm prompted for the port number on the server. If you recall from just early in this tutorial, where we saw that we're using port 9000, I will continue with the default of port 9000. I'm happy with that. Uh, next is the account or the directory that we're going to work with. Uh, and because D3 has provided us a demonstration application called MVDemo, we will use MVDemo. And we'll click on the next button there. Uh, finally, I need my logon credentials. So I need my logon ID, 
my password, and my login procedure. Well, for the purposes of this demonstration, all I need is my login ID for DM. And I will click on Next. And now it says the wizard, is, the wizard is complete. I'll click on the Finish button. And now it says that it's attaching the tables in Tutorial. And now it's adding the tables for us. And you'll notice here in our list of available table types, we now have Tiger D3 tables. If I double click on this to expand it, I see I have one connection called Tutorial. And if I double click on that, I will see that I have Customers, Demo BP, Inventory, Orders, and Products. Now if I click on Customers, we'll see a flash on the screen that it's refreshing the Shadow Dictionary for Customers. Rather than create the Shadow Dictionary for every single field in every single table, which I could do if I wanted to, Open Insights configured right now to just build those as I need them. And if I was to take one of these tables, for example, the Fax Number column, and I double click on it, I'll see the Open Insight Table Builder, and it's going to tell me the Fax Number is a data type of varchar, it's in field number 9, it's left justified, 30 characters wide, and its column heading for reports is called fax number. Okay, I'll just cancel out of there. I'm not going to make any changes. Uh, so we see the table there. Now what I can do, if I right mouse click on customers, and I'll get a uh, context sensitive menu, and I'll look at the table browser, and it's going to attempt to load the customers table for me. I will say load all the records there, and there we have it. This is now a connection to our D3 data. Now while the table browser is just a quick and dirty browsing tool, uh, what I will do in a future video is actually make a web front end to the tables that are defined in this uh, tutorial connection. So look for the next video. Thanks very much.